our YouTube subscribers. My name is Ray Sean, known as Ray Niz on Facebook, also known as Mr. Ceiling Fan Man 1999 on YouTube. Now, what's going on is that I'm back with another video of my 44 inch brush nickel Hunter Coastal Breeze Plus Ceiling Fan dated April of 2002. Now, <coughs> excuse me, I'm trying not to lose my voice. What's going on is that I'm doing part two of this ceiling fan that started in my bedroom. And the reason why is that because I'm doing a video of the ceiling fan showing with the factory speeds. And if you guys doesn't, excuse me, if you guys don't know what the factory speeds are, the factory speeds are when you're using the speeds by the pool chain. So um, this ceiling fan is three speeds and is electrically reversible like I said on my other videos of this Hunter Coastal Breeze Plus ceiling fan that I did a video of. And um, and it has five reversible blades from cherry to maple. And it could be down rod mounted or it could be close mounted. But right now it is shown on the down rod and stuff. And, oh my gosh. Now this piece on the very bottom and stuff, that golden piece and stuff, that's to allow you to that's to allow you to um clap the canopy directly onto the motor housing so um just in case if you want to close mount this thing and i forgot to show you these hooks right here that the canopy will attach to and stuff that i was having problems trying to get the canopy to attach to and stuff at the end of the video and stuff so um other than that i'm about to go on and demonstrate this fan starting off with the light. Alright. You can't even see the fan very well with the you can't even see the fan with the light off because I'm recording this video at nighttime. Okay, why does remote receiver acting like this? Hold on you guys. Probably because I probably because I use this remote over the past five years and stuff. So other than that, I'm about to go on to demonstrate this fan starting off with low. Now this ceiling fan, low speed is just about the same thing on a pull chain. It's like when I put the fan on low speed by the pull chain, it's been just about the same on how fast it would go on low speed with on how how fast it would go on low speed by the remote and stuff. So um, it's really not that much difference between the factory speeds and the remote speeds. But um, when I use this fan and stuff, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start using a remote because I don't even because I don't even use the pull chains to turn the fan on or to change the speeds on the fan. But I'm only doing that for the video and stuff, so I can show you guys what the fan looks like with the factory speeds and stuff. Cause some of you guys might be equipped because some of you guys. Ah, excuse me, I'm trying to say. Some of you guys has been waiting to, um has been waiting for have been waiting for me to do a video of this fan showing with the factory speed. Excuse me for my stuttering. So I decided to do a video of this fan showing with the um pool chain speeds, which is what the seal fan collectors call the factory speeds. So other than that, this is just about low. And I'm about to go on and put it on medium. 
And as you can see, I put LED bulbs on this light. But what I really don't like about this thing is that medium speed is just too fast. That medium speed is too fast. Even when I put it on medium by the pool chain and stuff. But some, but you got some silver fans that has like a faster medium speed to it. But I don't know. I might have to change the, the capacitor values on this fan. I don't know. But I really don't want to go through all that stuff. So, um... I'm going to just leave this fan original as possible and stuff. Minus that I have the uh, non-original glows on this fan and stuff. But it's putting out a good breeze on medium. And it's actually doing its job. So other than that, this is just about medium, and I really don't have a whole lot to say in this video, and I'm about to go on and put it on high speed. Oh, and it's putting out some breeze on high speed. I, I bet this fan gonna do its job in the summertime if I don't take this fan down and stuff and put my um Hampton Bay Huntington three ceiling fan back up there and stuff. But I'ma still keep my Hampton Bay Huntington three ceiling fan because I had that ceiling fan ever since June first of two thousand fourteen. And plus, I can feel the breeze all the way in the distance that I'm standing in. And it does have a wobble to it, like I said. It's because uh, one of the blade breakers are crooked and stuff. Yeah, but other than that, I'm about to go on and um, turn the fan off. And before that stuff, before I turn it off, now, if you guys not really sure that this fan is electrically reversible and stuff, if you guys not sure what I mean about that is electrically reversible, this the reverse switch up there. And um, when I put this switch over to this direction and stuff, well, I'm really not supposed to reverse the fan while the fan is on because that could burn up the motor from what I heard. So as you can see, this ceiling fan is going the opposite direction. But I didn't test this fan out in reverse and stuff to see how it performs. So I really don't know how it's going to perform in reverse. Oh, I can feel this fan circulate some air even though the fan's going the opposite direction and stuff. I bet this fan gonna do a good job circulating the heat when my father turns the heat on in the winter time and stuff. I bet it's gonna do a good job circulating heat and stuff. So other than that, I'm about to go on and uh, turn it off. So other than that, this is Mr. Ceiling Fan Man 1999 signing out this video and I'm out.